What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast with Soma. Here in the top right hand corner, we love to watch this guy for he is on the outside at the moment, but we can't wait to have him back. I'm going to be analyzing these games. There's about three games here I have between Soma and Rush. They were played on the ladder in September, I believe September 15th of 2024. So very recent, very, very recent games. And I think they came just before one of the other series I did on in the channel. I'll actually put a link up in the top right hand corner so you guys can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But someone has been playing very, very well. It's like he was never gone. He is not falling off at all. And I think we're going to put that theory to the test. That's that's my theory that he's actually completely on point. I just want to see if he can handle uh, playing up against Rush. And he's been doing this build a lot. This is the overpool. Uh, overpool, you get the hatchery. Uh, and then you go directly into extractor. Four links and then a drone. And he's been doing this so, so often. This is a pure ladder build. I'm actually copying this now on the ladder. Um, and I want to see more like pathways, branches into how he reacts. Uh, when he sees certain things, he's going to see a wall here. So he hasn't really changed the build at all. Um, just yet. It is completely in the, still in the standard uh, phase. But he will have some different branches that he'll take, of course. Uh, like one branch is to get the third hatchery. I think that's probably what he'll do here because he's not under any pressure or anything. There's just a CC coming. He sees everything. He knows that Rush just wants to do an, a typical macro game. But these four links are really just for pushing away the SCV and making sure he doesn't die from an eight racks. Now, normally you wouldn't go for this type of build. The overpool build is not as strong as say an 11 hatch or 12 hatch. It doesn't give you quite as much economy, and usually you don't need this many lings, especially if they're just sitting behind a wall. But with the popularity of eight racks and Soma's early control with these lings, he can easily get away with this. It just it really fills up all the holes, all the potential damage that can be done in the early game, and that's why I really like it. I feel like it's a very solid build. It's like one goon fast expand as protoss versus terran it's like okay i just i have a goon i you know i get range really quickly and if i need more gateways i can add them on but i'm just gonna have those like solid base units early on to deal with any sort of uh, initial aggression and then i'll expand after that and so that's kind of what we've got here from soma he's gonna throw it on the spire how soon until he drops his second hatch now one thing that's really important is not to lose any lings here. So sometimes Terran players will kind of push out and like poke at the lings, but that's actually quite dangerous because we've already gotten rid of the uh, SCV on the map. You don't know if he's actually producing a whole bunch of lings right now and just waiting for you to poke out. Uh, that could be a, a possibility here, but that's not what Soma's doing. He's just sitting here being very conscious with his lings, making sure none of them die. Uh, having them alive is super important to this build gonna get his second uh, extractor down and he will not be dropping a hatchery in his main it looks like he's actually gonna go for a hatch down in bottom or in center left very sneaky little hatchery here so this is the first branch from the normal build here from soma that we've seen he's gonna be sneaking a hatch in center left now what will that be for is he going to quickly go into ultra Put a sunken wall here and try to tech immediately into ultralisk that's a possibility i don't know how likely that is it's not really in soma's style but he will sneak by here he gets an scv kill and gets into the main base which is kind of big he's gonna deal some damage back at home he's just making two sunken colonies and that should be enough to hold on he's got three meters four meters on the way and this is a big enough map here pantheon that will not will not be able to get across the map in time to uh, bust the front before the sunken colony comes online. Just one link, one ling left here. He's gonna make a run for it, try to get that out. It's nice to have one ling in front of the natural, even when you're microing with mutas, just in case like three marines break off. 
and walk all the way around and try to come in or try to, you know, hit top left or whatever. So we got one Marine that was broken off and he's checking top left with that. So maybe he will find this center left base before things get too out of control here. I don't see an evolution chamber just yet. So for now, we're not um, considering that transition. So I'm looking into the natural here, going for a little poke. So not like this. This is kind of the weakness of the build. We, we're not as strong right now. Six minute 30. We've only got six mutas here at the front. It's not as strong as if you went 12 hatch into a, you know, 2.5 uh, hatch replay after. That is a really robust play. It allows you to get seven mutas out very quickly. Uh, as long as you're not taking any damage early and you're... Even if you're building those two sunken colonies, it doesn't really slow you down that much. But it's almost been slowed down quite substantially here. He did a little bit of counter damage with the four lings, but... Four links can only do so much against a Terran player. SCVs are pretty tanky. The fire bats that popped out helped out a lot. This Marine's still looking for a third base. I think he's about to find it now. Yeah, he's going to check center left. He will find that. We've got a Queen's Nest over here. And so I'm, I'm thinking that this is probably going to be a Guardian play. Citizen's Arrest there. Drone goes ahead takes care of that marine singular marine not even going to get a single kill on those drones nice job by rush here putting on the pressure forcing so many actions out of soma that he eventually makes a mistake Ooh, ensnare on the way two queens as well oh that's so interesting oh this is going to be this is going to be either the best play you've ever seen or the absolute worst we'll see how this goes uh, there is a potential that he could make just a lot of lings and mutas ensnare the bio group and then just crush it that is possible hive is on the way but it's not going to be easy pretty difficult to get that spell off you still need to wait for energy in that and will it win the game most likely not 60 energy on these now he's got to hide those i don't think those queens are spotted there that was a little bit close though you don't want to be revealing the fact that you're going for a play like this. It's so out of left field. You really want it to be a surprise. Getting into the rally point here of Soma. A little bit annoying for him to deal with. But he will be getting this ensnare. Ensnare. Here it comes. Big ensnare there. Right in the middle of all this bioforce. And that'll allow Soma to pick some more of this off. Get some medic. Kill some more marines. The marines have really been slowed down in their firing. Oh, he uses the second ensnare. I don't know about that play, but um, I mean, this is going to slow everything down quite a bit. And he's doing a good job of cleaning this up. Yeah, he's going to get every medic and probably all the Marines as well. Yeah, all the Marines going down here so far. These medics will definitely die as well. Just one left with no energy. This has been pretty good. You know, that's not the greatest play in the world. Having the Queens come out and get the ensnare, but I mean, it was it was strong for sure. It allowed him to to push the marines back into the main and we've got greater spire on the way plus hydroden so eventually we are going to get into uh some guardians now valkyries are starting to increment out here he's got to be careful with that can't be losing that valkyrie right now oh it's so close he almost gets it he's going to come back in to get that last shot but he's going to lose like two three mutas because of that ouch Quite a bit of damage done there. You really want to keep these mutas alive because any muta, even if they're low HP, you can just morph them into guardians and bring that health back up. So he's got three low health ones right now. He's going to pull them out of the group and possibly make those into guardians here in just a moment. Eight hydras on the way. We've got some scourge here along with these mutas. He could absolutely try to snipe that one Valkyrie. And I think that he, he should for sure. Oh, that's pretty sneaky. Catching this. Oh! God damn, Scourge are so dumb. That's really unfortunate. The meat is here at the bottom now. are being pushed back, and there's another ensnare. That's actually going to buy quite a lot of time here. It's not going to make it easy for uh, these Valkyries. And yeah, it even gets an Asair on the Valkyries. The, the Marines and Valkyries from coming forward and actually denying the, the morph of Guardians. Where are the Guardians now? We don't have them out just yet. 
gonna come in and snipe one of these valkyries too bad he didn't have some scourge there he's actually got some right there that he should be using to fight this but six guardians on the way now where are they actually morphing somewhere out on the map no oh, i've lost it there they are right in the center right in the eye of the map here six guardians are going to be morphing maybe he'll make a few more as well some scourge dying over here where are our queens queens are kind of spread out on the map pretty low on hp but they will have ensnare again here shortly that's quite a few guardians one two devour is going to be made in this group as well plus groove spines this is a good timing try and push forward but that's four four valkyries that's so much damage however with the extra armor it's three armor the shots are only dealing three damage per hit that's pretty tanky that's pretty beefy when it comes to these but i mean you can't allow that to hit you for very long you absolutely have to start sniping these down and he's allowing the, the uh, valkyries to get a little bit too much damage here yeah everything melting that is too many way way too many valkyries and look at all this just going down rush is gonna take this one home with that final engagement it was a pretty crazy play from soma a little bit uh creative from him going for the queen build it doesn't end up paying off though and we're gonna jump into game number two rush just solid solid in the defense solid in the scouting all around a very strong solid terran player it's gonna take more than that to take him out all right here we go with game number two soma is he gonna do the same build again i hope so because rush is eight raxing oh man i think soma might have lost faith in his build he's not he's not going for the nine or, or overpool no overpool here he's gonna be opening 12 hatch into eight racks this could be a quick one soma completely unaware that he is about to be under a huge amount of pressure will he send out a drone please send that drone out thankfully he will but it's still going to be a difficult hold this is not this is this is the type of situation that the overpool build that he's been utilizing was meant to counter was meant to deal with he was supposed to not be getting into this position but he will find himself in an awkward space rush is actually going to go around this drone that's quite funny doesn't even want to attack that drone instead he just wants to get as much damage as he can or hide the build for as long as he can i should say bunker has started it's going to get halfway done before the drones even get down here this is a really rough situation with the marine coming in as well Oh, and this drone's gonna get targeted. Nice flank. Very nice flank there. Blocking that. Blocking that for just a moment. He's gonna get this for sure. He loses one drone, but he gets the marine. Oh, keep going, keep going. Okay. He's gonna keep going there. Five drones being pulled. Total eight. Are ready for this fight. Keeping the flank going here. Gonna prevent the bunker for now. It's a little bit hard to get past these drones, but he does a great job. Very good job getting past the SCVs there. Oh, one drone goes down. Ah, oh, two more drones fall. That is frustrating. We're already at three kills. Four kills have been uh, accomplished here from Rush. Can he get one more? Oof. That was scary. How many lings have been produced? Two lings. Two lings only. Four drones in production. It's actually not as bad as it looks. Oh, but another drone going to go down. A five. That is five kills now, which is quite serious. Oh, is he going to get the Marine? Are we serious? Go get it. Get the Marine. Get him. There we go. So he does get the Marine. Um, There is no second barracks or anything. It's a bunker back at home. And only drone production. So you know what? Even though so many drones were killed, total five, if I'm counting correctly, I think we're still okay, actually. It's not as bad as it seems. Look at the difference between the workers here. 16 to 19 is tolerable. The real switch up here, the, the, the important thing that went on during that bust was that Soma killed the Marines so that he didn't have to produce Lings. He only made two Lings 
one set, 50 minerals, everything else went into drones. Which saved, kind of saved him in this game. If he had lost five drones and made, you know, three, four, five pairs of lings, he would have been in uh, potentially a, just a game loss, uh, instant uh, loose situation. Uh, an unwinnable spot. Now, four marines are going to come across this map and the overlord will see this kind of at the last minute. We've only got, okay, we've actually got six lings. We're perfectly fine here. Yeah, this is this is amazing for Soma. I thought he was only making like one pair of lings, but he's got six, six lings and a seventh here as well. This absolutely ruins the marines that are coming across. Beautifully done here by Soma. The predictions, the star sense, absolutely fantastic. Realizing that Rush was likely to come across the map in that moment with the Ling chasing the SCV, thinking that he was going to get some damage. Bringing those Marines across and losing them like that is so painful. Especially after you've opened eight racks, you've already thrown away all your Marines several times. Uh, twice, in fact, and now there's about to be a big Mutalisk clump coming at you. This is not looking good for Rush. It's looking very good for a Zerg player. I hope that Soma will be able to take this game and that we'll have that final game be a tiebreaker. That's always exciting. It's not like a, an actual series, but it's kind of like a best of three uh, if that's the way it turns out. A drone heading up towards the top right. So this is a 2.5 hatch with the third hatch finishing up. Just before the Spire. He should be able to get like two larvae out of this. Before the Spire finishes. So he'll be able to make uh, three, six, and eight total mutas. If he's got all the larvae uh, rounding out at the right time. And the money to make it happen. Looks like he'll just barely have seven. Uh, in a moment here, he'll have enough for that eighth muta. And so the power of this next attack... It's hard to overstate. It's very scary for Rush. He's going to have a very hard time dealing with this. And with Soma's micro, I imagine we could see Rush just get pulled apart. He might have to build a ton of turrets. Like three turrets here, three turrets here, and maybe three or four turrets at the natural because of the high ground. It's just a little bit harder to deal with. There it is. Seven mutas and the eighth will be short. Not, not far behind here. Just with the 7, though, you can start to one-shot those SCVs. He'll be doing so here in a moment. Oh, he actually f goes after the Marines? No, no, no. Get in here. Get some damage. Fly in. Second turret is just about to finish. There it is. Going to pull the SCVs immediately. But he just starts going for the SCVs. There's two kills already. Three. There's a fourth. And five. And six. Seven. Eight. Eight. No. Nope. Going after the Marines. Now after the turrets here. In the natural. Meanwhile, three Sunkins is actually not going to be enough to hold. Well, that's crazy. He might actually die here from the uh, Marine push. Nope. That one Sunken finishes up on the bottom side. This thing, a absolute lifesaver. Oh! Hey, running up into the into the mineral line here. Might actually net him some damage. I think you pull, just pull drones or lings. Lings are going to help out a lot. Just these extra lings attacking the marine is huge. He's still dealing damage here in the main. This is so painful. I think this is basically a loss here for Rush, especially once the reinforcements arrive. More mutas get, make their way across. He's got two in the main. Okay, he's not really paying attention right now. Where's our drone? Top left-hand corner. That's funny. Might end up putting a, a base up there in the top left. Yeah, there we go. It's going to set it up here shortly. Armor's on the way. And so it's likely we'll see a transition into Ultra. But taking this on the high ground is not very good. You actually want to take the base here and then set up a, a wall uh, over at the natural. It's a lot stronger. It's like Ling's going to get in here. Start to deal some damage to these SCVs. He gets a couple kills. Looks like he won't get too much more than that, though. Sometimes it's better to just go after the turrets. Trying to pick them off can open up the position a lot easier. I fly in now. Go after these marines. Still has seven mutas. Now no longer seven. 
can no longer one shot these SCVs, so you have to be a little bit more choosy with his targets. And how he dives in here. Three turrets hitting you as you're attacking the workers is not good. You want two or less to be attacking your Mitas. Uh, that's how you can actually trade out efficiently. And the trade in the natural wasn't the most efficient, but I think it's still okay. We're 31 to 31. And although it's just two base to two base, two base to two base, I think we're okay here as the Zerg. Eventually, we're going to get into that hive. And we're still puttering away here with one starport just finishing up and the science facility on the way. Meanwhile, the hive is just about done already. So this is looking good. Rush with a couple forces out in the front. A few over here by the main base. He's kind of scared right now. He's just playing far back in his base. Expecting a meatless dive at any moment. He's going to be waiting, I think, for his tech to come online before he ever pushes across. He's a little bit scared to lose this bio force. At this point in the game, I mean, if that were to happen, he would be in a huge amount of trouble. There's the Ultra Cavern. We have a hatchery in top left as well. About to finish. Should be a Nidus connecting to that location in just a moment. He's kind of stopped on the uh, plus armor upgrades, which I'm a little bit worried about. If he forgets that upgrade for too much longer, his ultraless timing is going to be much, much worse. Coming in, picking off a turret. Dealing some damage, but I'm still keeping an eye on the upgrades tab here the production tab and I'm just not seeing armor which is quite concerning this is one of those ways you can actually throw a game uh, even when everything is kind of going your way and you're doing quite well the Terran will eventually become strong it's all up to these upgrades to come online there's gonna get plus two plus one here pretty soon and then we're also gonna have vessels with irradiate and no matter how good you are with your mutas if you just forget Carapace, you're not going to trade effectively with your late game units, with your Ultras. Uh, I mean, you're, you can still do okay if you have some some Defilers out, but he's not going Defiler. There's the plus two. Okay, he starts it finally, but that was a big mistake. We missed out on like a full minute, at least, of time uh, that that Carapace was not rolling along, and that could be an opening... You can see that he's going to have a big upgrade advantage for quite some time. He's going to be plus two to the plus one armor uh, of the Lynx and Ultras uh, for quite a while before we have this Carapace come online. And in that time, he'll be able to start plus three. Even with the double, e with the double Evo Chamber and the speed at which he started that upgrade, he actually should be on par with the Terran player, but... Let's see how he does with this timing. He might even, you know, threaten some backstabs and and runarounds and just try to keep Rush back for as long as possible while he waits for that second armor upgrade. You can see another base in the top right hand corner. This is exactly how you want to play Crazy Zerg. Just running away. Oh man, that's so much damage. The Mutas are basically a thing of the past at this point. They are an extinct species now. Two overlords here in the middle of the map are probably going to get picked off. That's a bit unfortunate. You really don't want to be losing overlords here while you're trying to produce uh, ultras. They're very supply heavy. And he is a little bit, a little bit light on units right now. He's got quite a few drones, 40 drones. So he should be able to produce a decent number of ultra here. Just still waiting on that armor upgrade. Really important that we wait all the way until that's done. Cannot be engaging before that. So if Rush forces the engage right now, I think that would be to his advantage. He doesn't know it, but if he comes right here to the natural and forces uh, Soma to trade into him, that might be the absolute best move at this point in the game. Of course, it's it's hard to know that with uh, without perfect information like what we have as a, an observer, but if he starts to figure this out, he saw the links. So maybe if he clicked on one of the links and saw that plus two wasn't done, he might be now realizing that, hey, maybe I can maybe I can actually crack this at least, you know, force the ultras to come out and fight. 
because if they do come out and fight they're gonna take a bad trade here in the natural there's the d matrix he is gonna go for this we don't even have ultra speed yet and look at how quickly these just die it is really a massive difference between plus two being done and plus two not being done and look at the ultras just getting absolutely eaten alive oh man and how close this uh it upgrade is dude you have got to be kidding me soma man that is so rough that is so rough this is the type of game where i just lose my mind i'm just kicking myself afterwards and i'm sure soma kicking himself a little bit as well knowing that he was in a very good position he had done so much damage he's ahead in workers for quite some time i think he he thought that he could keep maybe rush back a little bit longer but what would be the downside of building you know five six sunkens at this point in the game when we know we need to buy time when we know our upgrade is low or slow excuse me why not buy five sunkens here we're so far ahead in drones we just need to live that kind of um kind of boggles the mind right now actually why did soma do that and why did he not uh, start his second upgrade there must have been a mistake maybe he clicked it and there wasn't enough money that happens all the time but a pretty sad end to this one we do have a game number three but it's already 2-0 for rush I wonder if Soma can even take a game off of this guy. Maybe he's not as up to date as I thought. Maybe Russia is just better, stronger right now than I thought. He is currently in the SSL. He's an incredibly good Terran player, but I really thought that Soma would be able to give him a run for his money based on the results we've been seeing from him in other games. But this is just perfect play from Rush. You know, he was in a bad position, but he saw, I think he must have seen the upgrades on those lings and realize oh you're you made a mistake you're actually behind if i take this timing right now like this is a such a tight little timing even the 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 carapace is done now at the end of this game but he hit that timing just so just perfectly it's one thing for a, a caster and people watching at home to realize like oh this is a good timing but while playing the game while all the chaos is going on in the game and you're seeing, you know, you're already behind and you don't have perfect scouting, you don't have perfect information, but to figure out this kind of timing, really impressed with Rush's play here. But let's see what Soma can do. Hopping into game number three. Whew. Whole new respect for Rush over here. Bringing it to Soma on the ladder. I don't think he even knows that this is Soma. Maybe he does. I haven't seen any chatter between the two of them. Just kind of being silent here. At least Soma content to remain anonymous. And what's he going to bring out? Is he actually going to go for Overpool here again? Because I feel like he did fine. He did just fine against that uh, 8 racks when he was 12 hatch. So maybe just 12 hatches again. Yeah, it feels like he might 12 hatch and he does have the money for the pool now. So he is going to 12 hatch. Hmm, that's interesting. No eight racks from Rush again uh, in this game. Instead, just going to one racks FE. So this actually works out pretty good. I, I feel like the the eight racks actually worked in Soma's favor that first game. Or excuse me, game number two, the last game. The previous game. And so, yeah, he will. He will open up like this. That's interesting. Okay, I actually... I don't know. I feel like um, when I open this way all the time, when I open like this uh, a lot, that I get abused too much. Too much on the ladder. I just I can't open like this too often uh, anymore. Uh, maybe my drone control needs work. Maybe my uh, scouting needs work. Something like that. Uh, I actually found that going 12 hatch and then immediately canceling um or excuse me uh, canceling for a 13th drone and then taking the hatch or what was i doing i think i was getting the 
the 12 hat no no i was going up to nine and then canceling the extractor for the 10th drone and then scouting with the drone that canceled the extractor and then going 12 hatch so that i could get the drone into the uh terran space right off the bat and that way i would either you know harass the scv building the eight racks and know that it was coming um or i would just see that it was coming as the the racks finished up and be able to pull my drones in time and not build the extractor um just have the spawning pool done and you know build some links or whatever or build a sunken or what whatever was necessary to deal with the eight racks i i felt like that was actually a pretty good adaptation but in this game none of that stuff is going to occur because we don't have an eight racks and this is just as standard as standard gets we have the layer, we have the uh, speed on the way, and he's only going to produce like one set of lings, I imagine. Hasn't even made one set yet. Pure confidence with no seconds or no set of lings at all. Still drones. Only drones being produced. He has the vision of the, the barracks here, so he knows that there's nothing coming, but still. Usually you do want to build at least a pair of lings just to chase this SCV around. Seems like he's just completely content not to do so though. Finally, one pair of lings will pop. Start to chase that around. Four Marines are on the map. But ling speed's about to be done and we've already got a second set of lings. So if these Marines keep coming, he's actually going to lose all of them. Um, Yeah, he's going to turn around now. That is a very good call. These lings might catch this on the way back home. Let's see if he can catch up to it. Marines are heading back. You should have seen this lift. He's actually going to spread the lings out. All right, that's also a smart play. Now, you don't know if the Marines are heading directly back home. And if you could find them out on the map, that would be a, a kill move for sure. So he won't find that. I'm sure he saw that with his overlord heading back in. And so the lings are going to check around for maybe an extra XCV, a scout somewhere. And head back to the front. 2.5 hatch with the Spire about to finish. It's going to be a very strong meterless timing here for Soma. Back at home. Rush is actually rushing into Valkyrie. We're going to have a Valkyrie build here out of him. That should counter the meterless pretty strong. Pretty well. But if a pair of Scourge is produced... And he manages to dive on that. Will he make one pair of Scourge? He doesn't quite realize, I suppose, that Valkyries are coming. It's hard. It's very hard to tell if this is just like a very fast eBay. Um, or if, if it's actually Valkyries. So he's, he's going to make Carapace, which is really good against Valkyries. But he doesn't have that one pair of Scourge. If you fly in with your Mutas at this timing and you have one pair of Scourge right now. And you just dive and kill the the Valkyrie and then kill all the turrets or just stand on sit on top of the barracks it is a nightmare for the Terran you can easily you can just take a quick win it's so fast uh, if they don't respond appropriately if they mess up their Valkyrie micro at all or you're just able to pick that off so they're gonna fly and start to pick off some SCVs that's two um, okay, a bit of a miss there. Three now going down, but he's going to take quite a bit of damage from the Valkyrie and we'll have to back out. Let's see if he makes Scourge now. Looks like no. There we go. Okay, Scourge are going to be made and a Hatcher in the top center. Taking that natural base uh, of the third location. Spawn location over there at the top center. Gonna be grabbed by Soma. Gives him a very easy third base, but a little bit harder to defend. Gets about three more SCVs. So he's actually done enough damage at this point. He doesn't need to continue this aggression. He can just focus on stopping this Marine Force from heading out on the map. And that should be good enough. Um, He's spreading out here. Is he gonna miss this move out? Better bring this back home. There's only one sunken colony in the front. And, he, okay, he spots it. He sees it. Is it time to clone the Scourge and try to kill the Valkyrie? That's not a lot of Marines. I think he can make it happen. He's actually going to catch reinforcements, which is absolutely magnificent. Can he bring his Mutas over here, though, in time? 
Stim up. Is he going to go for the sunken colony? No, he is not. Valkyrie heading out. Oh, okay. One, Val one, one scourge hits that Valkyrie. It was a pretty good move there to try and snipe that. But only has two Scourge remaining. And there's three Valkyries. So taking that fight would be a little bit crazy. A little bit suicidal. Balls of Steel on someone to not make a second Sunken Colony, honestly. That's a pretty hefty Marine Force. And if he engages and you just don't quite connect with your Mutas and Scourge in the proper way. You could just straight up die. So having that extra Scourge is a little bit of an insurance policy. He gets another, or an, an extra Sunken, excuse me. Bit of an insurance policy. We'll be able to make Lurker. No, he lost the Overlord. He can't make Lurker. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Some Scourge going to connect on a few of these Valkyries. Picking them off. He actually loses the majority of the Mutas, but he will kill everything here for Rush. Rush loses his entire army. And everything going to be driven back. That was a little bit tough. Pretty scary situation. And Soma still doesn't have the third gas online just yet. But he manages to hold strong. Only two mutas remain. One marine headed out on the map. That's not going to do too much with the sunken over here at the top center. But it's a good thought. Tanks are being made. Rush is going to do a tank push. That seems a little bit wild. Usually you don't want to do a tank push if you lost your initial group of marine medic. That uh, first ball of Marine Medic is what you need to escort the tank across the map. He's going to make remake more Marines to escort this, but the Hive is halfway done. And we've already got Lurkers in the front. Maybe this is just to deal with the Lurkers that are pushing in right now. Doesn't have Siege tech. Doesn't have that Siege mode just yet. Losing a few too many Marines right now. He's only got one in the bunker. Which is a bit scary. And that's five lurkers in front of his natural. I guess the siege mode is pretty important at this point. Does need to siege up and, and push these back here in a moment. With the science vessel coming forward, he can start to just poke with uh, the range of the, sun uh, of the siege tank. Doing its job. We've got a radiate on the way. Tank here. Going to be pushing out. Scourge are ready to dive on this. Let's take a look in the main base. We've got the Defiler Mound on the way. Nice canal going up to top center. Scourge and Lurker is going to push forward. This is some pretty good maneuvering by Rush. Awesome unburrow and back up there from Soma though. Not taking any damage from those siege tanks and forcing the siege up. Really, really nice stuff. He's going to back away now as the Defiler Mound finishes. He's going to, I think... Return to normal normality here. Just go and hold the natural. And see if he can't win this in a longer game. See if he can't, you know, get into his armor. Eventually take his fourth base in top left. And get himself into a, a, an ultra game with some defilers coming out. One lurker gets irradiated. Gonna hold this high ground for now. Just buying that time until consume is done it's it's so close he just needs a little tiny bit more time and so burrowing and unburrowing lurkers is a great way to buy that time now running forward here that's a lot of lurkers he's going after the science vessel but he's not able to get it and now he needs to back up okay he's actually gonna pull the trigger on dive on this again Ooh, there's a drop heading into the main at the same time this is everything that soma has and it will be cleaning up the majority of the tanks but what does he have in the main base oh <gasps> Oh, he got it with the Scourge. Beautifully done. Dude, this could have done so much damage. If he dropped all the Marines and Medics in this base, we only had Lings popping out. We've got a couple Hydras over here. We've got a Lurker or two popping as well. But that was very well handled by Soma. Very, very well handled. Having the extra Scourge there to just snipe that drop right as it was coming in. Super difficult to have all of those things lined up perfectly and and executed so well here. I doubt that Soma will be able to, or that uh, Rush will be able to push into this position. The Defiler will be replaced. Another Dark Swarm can come down before it dies, but it won't cast that. No big deal. 
more scourge com coming out as well army moving forward here but the defiler is almost at the natural already he just needs to push forward a little bit farther there's the dark swarm gonna get under that with the defiler second defiler here as well one lurker goes down unfortunately but gg is called rush taps out and soma takes this victory home that was really the climax i think of this game was that attack right here with all the tanks and the dropship flying into the main the combo there was really strong you basically force the entirety of the zerg army to the front you put on a lot of pressure with the tanks and then you fly into the main and do a drop and the the zerg player just cannot handle everything at the same time they can't micro uh, all their units all at the same time so you're gonna lose something somewhere either to the tanks or to the drop and i mean so much just he did everything perfectly he cancel or he he catches the drop coming in he gets his lurkers on top of the tanks beautifully beautifully done this was a great game out of soma rush putting on a lot of pressure but not able to take this down even in a very even early game after a very even early game soma got the damage he needed with the mutilus in both the main and natural and rush was not able to crack him with the valkyrie play so cool to see soma in the mix once again guys if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this cast make sure to leave a like i really appreciate it especially now uh, during ASL time, not as many people watching my videos. It's a little bit harder uh, to survive, but because you guys have been so uh, consistent watching my videos, and uh, you're you're really keeping this alive. You're really helping me to um, stay confident that this can be viable, even though we are uh, not doing quite as well during this time. So thank you so much to all of you guys for liking and commenting on the video. And I'll see you in the next one.